I'm Jeff and this week my maker video is going to be all about using your local makerspace to help do a quick easy and cheap repair to a bedroom window so let's get so a little while back this window latch something inside broke off so the window no longer latches so I'm gonna pop off this and see how I can fix it so it turns out the problem is there's a metal rail that's attached to the window frame with plastic clips and one of the clips had broken off so when you try to latch the window on this peg it pulls away so what I'm going to try to do is with 3D design software I will we'll try to model this and then print it on a 3D printer I relocated to the library I'm going to use their makerspace equipment their computer internet connection and 3D printer to build the replacement 3D printed piece to fix the window. I'm going to use Tinkercad to design the replacement part. It's a free, cloud-based, easy to learn 3D design software. But first, I have to get my dimensions. Just using a millimeter ruler and my logbook, I'll take down the dimensions. In Tinkercad, the library has a collection of geometrical shapes that you can use to build up your object. You can resize them and change the angles. Also, you can do Boolean operations on them to create holes. Once I have a portion of the object the way I like it, I will group that separate pieces into one piece that makes it easier from moving it around. So I think I'm going to end it here. It's not exactly like the broken piece, but I think it will do the job mechanically. Download your object and slice it, and then transfer it over to your 3D printer for printing. I'm going to print in the best resolution and with 100% infill so it's very strong. I broke away the raft and the supports using needle nose pliers and exacto knife. Test fitting seems like it works fine. Now to install. I installed a new 3D printed piece where the broken piece was and it looks like it works perfectly. And now for the test and it locks shut. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more Maker videos. A written tutorial on this project is available on my Instructable page linked below. And if you want to see what's on my workbench and current projects, please check out my blog also linked below.